What is going on? What is going on, everybody? Today, I wanted to talk about my current wish list for Lost Ark. Now, I've been doing some thinking, and you know, we've had some interesting things going on with a lot of bugs and all that stuff. But I, I wanted to move past all that, right? Obviously, we want a bug free game, but kind of deep inside, what would actually help this game out, right? So, I think the first thing is pretty obvious, and it's very recent. This Makoko Boot Camp event shop. Now, I have a little bit of mixed feelings with this because I think AGS did a really, really good job with the Ignite servers, and they just wanted to add on to it, right? Layer on a few more extra things for us to help out the new and returning players. However, they really fell flat on their foot here. And now all the attention goes away from all the positive things that they do for Ignite servers and all the negative things for Mukoko Bootcamp event just keep, keeps making AGS look worse and worse. So in my opinion, first of all, I applaud AGS for actually trying, right? They, they are actually trying, but I have to say that it does make me wonder if somebody is actually playing the game over there. Now, we know Henry is playing the game, but is there anybody else? We have no idea. But the first thing I wanted to talk about or my wish list is reevaluate the Makoko Leaf criteria. That's just number one, right? Because there are many, many people that I know, my viewers and such, I get a lot of comments about this. They have just been a new or returning player, but they have played since Ignite Server. They were willing to give it another chance, and unfortunately, they don't have the seed. So personally, I think they should go based off roster levels or people have been saying clear, like if, if they haven't cleared it 10 times, then they should be considered a quote unquote Makoko for that raid, right? I feel like that would make sense for them to get to the point where they finally get the title and hopefully learn a little bit along the way for those 10 clears. And then finally, they can kind of mesh in well, uh, hopefully, you know, I mean, there's other gatekeeping requirements, but title is a big one. So there are many different solutions out there. So I hope AGS is taking in all this and hopefully they will communicate with us real soon. The second thing on my list is for AGS, you guys need to give Smilegate a good nudge about lowering the item level requirement for Aegir. And if you don't want to do that for Korea, just do it for the Western version, right? Even 1650. Or is it Kazaros Raid? Even 1650 for normal mode and 1670 for hard mode would save you 12 homes. That is massive, by the way, right? Even just a simple 10 item level drop. Clearly, look at this, for example. No supports, both in normal and hard. Usually for normal, there wasn't a problem with the support shortage. But because of the item level requirement being way too high, right? You only get to 1640 with tier four. So that means you have to hone 20 item levels, which is four times on each piece of gear, meaning 24 total times of honing. That is why there are no supports. Looking for sub, looking for sub. Sub first plus friends, sub apply first. Looking for sub, looking for sub and friends. Literally, everybody's looking for subs, whether you are from normal mode or hard mode. I had somebody try to do a full DPS run, and it didn't work out, and they couldn't clear on week one because there were no supports. We need to make the item level requirement just a little bit less strict in the Western version. Number three, even if you transfer from Ignite, I would hope that I could still be able to play on Ignite. So, you know, people like me who on stream, I help out people uh, that may be getting gate kept or new players who are still on Ignite can still help on Ignite. But with everybody being forced to move and unable to come back, everybody on Ignite servers is having to fend for themselves, right? I cannot help them anymore. Luckily, I haven't transferred my EU West and my NA West or EUC and NA West account yet, but it's inevitable. Right? I have to do it soon. Otherwise, I won't be able to help the legacy people there. So I would hope that I can have 
uh, a normal legacy server and then also an ignite server character and obviously that ignite server character will not be able to transfer over i'm not asking for another character to the legacy server i don't need one i just want to help all the makokos all right number four vertical progression needs to stop being locked behind a random chance drops like you guys you guys know this right the infamous what is this like a bay over here where you see a ton of ships over here waiting for the blood claw fragment it has apparently like a two percent drop rate that is ridiculous right it's super important to get it too so that you can get those enlightenment points even the enlightenment point potion uh itself for the field boss i know there's a pity but it's kind of ridiculous that you need to work super hard to try to get it at a random chance like it, it's weird right it's super weird to have something like that especially that there's also in the field boss a blood cloth fragment tied to it as well that it's a chance drop too right that one i don't think has a pity either so how are we going to get the enlightenment potion for the blood claw i don't know but that is a very important thing to have because let me show you guys why when you go to enlightenment potion you won't be able to fill out the points on relic with this with only like two pieces now it becomes a little bit less relevant uh later on with the ancient accessories but with relic accessories it it's really hard to access the full potential of your class I think that's completely absurd, right? You should never lock a class just based off the fact that, you know, you need to whale, right? To get to 1680, that's just ridiculous. So please, 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 AGS, can you guys kind of ask Smilegate to not lock all these chance drops for vertical progression? Like this gives a significant amount of damage, this last tier line, please. All right. And finally, I know everybody was waiting for this one, so I wanted to save it for last. Solo mode. Are there any development news for solo mode raids? Is there Thaymine coming soon? Is Echidna even going to come soon, right? I thought Thaymine would come pretty by, by now, actually. And then Echidna would have come maybe in a month or so. Something so that people have the ability to just play the raid without being worried about getting gay kept. I know, I know, you want people to play in Party Finder. But this is where I said, you guys don't seem to be playing the game. If you are free to play and you're a new and returning player and you don't have the best card set, the best demon damage, the best gear, you're going to get gay kept. You will not be able to play the raid. People they keep even in normal mode they mine they really need to unlock they mine and pretty closely actually because it's kind of long overdue they need to send echidna at pretty much the same time as they as they mine right now because they mine is way too delayed so now echidna is going to be delayed right so they need to put it all together into one now i'm assuming they're going to say something about this in loa on in december so we'll see about that but personally, I feel a little bit disappointed that they haven't mentioned any about this, uh, anything about this at, like, at, at the current moment. We have no news about solo mode. Just all about Makoko boot camp. Like, congratulations. We got like 10 Makoko boot camps, our, our seed users here, right? And they're, they're all taking advantage. But then after that, it's over. The supply is limited. 1,200 relic book, by the way. It just seems like they just don't play the game. It's confusing, but I'm not going to completely be negative here, right? I really, really appreciate what AGS is doing for us, but this is just my current wish list for Lost Ark. Now, is it going to come true? I hope so, but if not, oh well, right? I, I, I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. I made a video about it. Hopefully, some intern watches this video from AGS and relays this information to the higher-ups. Hello, everybody from the higher ups of Amazon. I'm trying to help you fix the game. Um, you're doing a great job, by the way. But, you know, there, there are things that could have improvements. But anyways, that's the end of this video. What do you guys all think? Do you guys think that I'm being unreasonable with my wish list? Do you guys have other things about the wish list? Maybe I can do a part two. 
But pineapple gang. Let's just say happy Halloween. Uh it's one day after happy Halloween at the time of this recording, but you know, it doesn't hurt to kind of celebrate the holiday. So with that being said, I'm going to leave. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.